I believe that more than 50% of people dragging themselves through life with exhaustion, weight gain, fatigue, not sleeping well, not thinking clearly, walking around in a mental fog today, are really underdiagnosed or not diagnosed with low thyroid. Low thyroid is an epidemic that is being ignored. And it is tragic because the moment you start treating people with the thyroid medication they need, they come back. They lose weight. They start thinking again. They start sleeping better. And life becomes more significant again. Um, the problem with thyroid is that the diagnosis of low thyroid is based on one blood test called TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone and the criteria for what is within normal, normal range is criteria established by the American Endocrine Society and over the course of the past 20 years it's become abundantly clear that the range is too broad and people fall between the cracks and are underdiagnosed. We cannot make thyroid hormone unless we have iodine. And iodine has been removed from our diets. Over the past 20 years, we've encouraged people to eat less salt so as to prevent and protect from high blood pressure. And the salt, iodized salt, was really the only place, one of the only places that you could get iodine so that your thyroid could make hormone. Another place was white bread. White bread was made, the wonder bread from the past, was made with iodine. And about 20 years ago, white bread started being made with bromide, which is another element that doesn't work the same way iodine works. Your body cannot use it to make thyroid hormone. So all of a sudden, we no longer get iodine and iodide in our diet and you cannot make it inside your body. And if it doesn't come from your diet, your body can make thyroid hormone, which explains an enormous percentage of why we are all low thyroid. Beyond that, our lifestyles and the environmental pollutants that are always playing around with our hormones are probably other contributor factors. So what we really need to understand is that thyroid, low thyroid, should be really the first thought that comes to mind when you feel cold all the time, when you're not thinking right, walking around in a brain fog, you're overweight, you're bloated, you look bloated, and you can't lose weight no matter how much of a diet you're going on and how much you exercise. Thyroid is treated really easily. It's treated with T3, or T4, or combinations of T3 and T4. T3 and T4 are the thyroid hormones that your body makes. And whether it is a pharmaceutical, as in Synthroid, Cytomel, Armor Thyroid, it's the only way that you can get treated for thyroid. You can't take a supplement that will treat you for thyroid problems. You need the hormones themselves. So you need a prescription and a physician. And you need to take iodine, as in iodoral, which is the only iodine available, iodine and iodide, that will help enhance the use and the production of thyroid hormones. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is considered as the main disease that is an autoimmune disease that causes low thyroid. At this point in my career, I don't believe that that's really saying anything. You don't need to be diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis to get treated for thyroid disease. Whether you have autoimmune antibodies to your thyroid or not is totally irrelevant. Treat with thyroid and see what happens. I bet you you'll see a tremendous improvement in your life and you'll never go back to not being treated for thyroid. And also, don't be intimidated when they tell you that once you go on thyroid hormones, it'll be for life. It's the only life you have, and if that's what it means, taking thyroid hormones makes you better, enjoy your life. Take the hormones.